what's happening guys spirit to me 11 11 it's your girl stardust 11 11 here to do your forecast love and career reading for the sign of scorpio for july 2019 scorpio is an air sign i mean a water sign i say air sign <laughs> scorpio is a water sign so this may also resonate with the pisces or cancer as well because that is your element all right, so I always tell you guys that tarot is timeless, so these can be events that have already happened for you guys that are currently taking place in your life or that will unfold for you, Scorpios, here in the near future. Tarot is timeless, so you guys just know that whenever you come across this video, it can be a year from now, it can be a situation that happened two years ago. If that message resonates for you, if it touches home for you, that is your message. You are divinely guided to, okay? Now, welcome to reverse the genders here for my tarot card readings because my readings are gender neutral your kings can be your queens and vice versa thank you to everyone who's been liking sharing and subscribing to my channels all of my new subscribers thank you so much everyone um, at the end of this video i will be linking your june 2019 reading for um you scorpios um, all you have to do is tap on the video that appears at the end of the screen. Also, my picture shows up there. You tap my picture icon, and that gives you an option to subscribe to my channel. All right. YouTube is helping us make this easy for you guys. And don't forget, Scorpios, hit the bell notification. If you'd like to be notified the next time I upload videos or content over here to my YouTube channel. All right. So without further ado, my lovely, lovely water sign of Scorpio, I'd like to jump right into your July 2019 Love and Finance Read for you guys. Okay, spirit, if you will, accompany me, join me in this reading so I can give my lovely Scorpios a message for July 2019. Spirit is the star of my show. That's why it's called Spirit and Me, of course. And I do my work without spirits. So. All right, guys. You got five of wands here. You start off with rivalry. That's jealousy. It's a uh, petty bickering. Um, and it's about competition with your five of wands. So some of you Scorpios have competition out there. You got competition in the workplace. You can have competition when it comes to your person, to your love. Just someone just wanting to compete with you, just being very jealous and envious of you, your energy, and your life. So let's continue to get into the cards here and see. <laughs> you have three major arcanas here. You have the moon. Um, so with your wands, that's fire energy, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. To start your reading off, then we have the moon that's pisces energy so with the moon card here that is about concealment something being hidden from you being kept from you some truth somewhere and um the moon is also about you know powerful epiphanies like pay attention to your dreams things will be revealed to you that that is being concealed that that is being hidden from you but it's more about your intuition this card here is about your intuition it's like the high priestess right so Follow your intuition, your inner knowing, and know that that is being hid from you, like with by the moonlight, um, you will be guided to the truth that you need if you follow your intuition with this moon card. It's about projecting your fears off into your reality. So what are you afraid of? What are you in fear of? What's going on? And what is that moon energy all about here? Okay, so then we have Queen of Cups. That's more water energy. Cancer, okay, so Scorpio, and Pisces. And your Queen of Cups is about intuition. Also, more intuition, more inner knowing. The Queen of Cups is very emotional, probably a little bit psychic. Um, she's very intuitive. Um, the Queen of Cups probably works in the healthcare field. She's very nurturing, loving, and caring, and can be obsessed, become obsessed with her own feelings and emotions, as she's always always pouring into everyone else's cup and sometimes left to hold the empty cup for herself you know she's that type of energy because she has such a loving nature and very intuitive so get further into your reading to find out what's going on for you guys okay the justice card here this is libra and it's about equality so you seek equality and balance in your life 
okay? You seek that right now. Your situation requires that you make fair and just decisions and that you search for that equality and balance that you need in your life, something that's missing from your situation. And you could have a win coming in your favor when where your situation is concerned. So somebody could be legally tied up in a court system, going through a divorce, on what could be um, having child support court. It could even be crimes, um, you know, um, misdemeanors, felonies. Justice could actually be justice, you know, like that can actually be courtroom drama. But I'm, I'm looking more so at the equality balance side of the situation because of what I see here so far. For you Scorpios, the magician, you can be dealing with a Gemini or a Virgo. And the magician is about inner skills, having everything you need within you to manifest your greatness, to create a life by design and not by default. Getting what you want, going for the gusto and not being afraid, not being held back. Because with the moon, you, you have some fears here. You have inner fears here. So hmm, the universe is urging you and nudging you to, you know, go for it. Go ahead and go for it. <laughs> so then we have the um, the page of swords here. That's air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. That's inspection. That's the stalker card. <laughs> I called it in my, one of my other readings, the beautiful little stalker. <laughs> because like these beautiful creatures, they're so beautiful. I love the um, artwork on here. They're, they're so awesome and amazing. But so your person is watching you from afar. Could be asking people about you. Your person is definitely definitely keeping their eye on you whether you know it or not your person scorpio that you're watching for the one you're thinking about is keeping their eye on you and that's rivalry and the rivalry too with the with the inspection with this page of swords this, this doesn't have to be your love interest that's stalking you this could be a karmic or a third party involved i see your energy showing up here as the um the queen of cups but you can also be your person could be dealing with a water sign like you or your person could be a water sign that queen could also be the king of cups type of energy right so we have the libra here we have um cancer scorpio pisces gemini virgo and the um the pisces you have pisces you're just about got everybody here you got fire aries leo sag gemini libra aquarius but um for those major arcana cards and those court cards definitely pay attention to those energies so I'm thinking with the rivalry and the inspection that someone is just checking up, just checking out the competition, want to see what you got going on over there. Want to see how you do things, how you're leveling up, how you're looking, and what's got their guy or gal so smitten by you. <laughs> I'm going to see what these clarifier cards say about your reading and your spread. So, Spirit, if you will, please clarify for me and Scorpio what's going on with this Five of Wands and this inspection card here, the Page of Swords. Also, the Moon. I think everything else is pretty I'm pretty comfortable with what I have here but um I'll put my four clarifiers as usual if I feel the need to pull any more for more clarity I will do that at some point here before I wrap you guys up I will not leave you hanging <laughs> don't forget if you would like that personal private reading all of my information will be listed down below in the description box of how to get in contact with me for those readings Scorpio all right so, spirit, if you will, clarify for me for the water sign of Scorpio for their July 2019 reading. Please, and thank you, spirit. Okay, guys. Let's see what we got. Three of Swords. Yep. You got Three of Swords here. Um, you see things exactly as they are. Three of Swords here. That's about heartbreak. Someone's broken your heart. Like I said, this could be a... This could be family. This could be friends. But I'm definitely feeling that this is a love entrance. Okay. There's a third party or a karmic involved here, as I suspected. And um, this person could be the one watching you. It doesn't have to be your love interest. This person could definitely be the one watching you. Because <laughs> you got Page of Swords here twice. I usually don't take two from the bottom, but that one was this smack dab look at me right in the face. You see that? Your Page of Swords and your Page of Swords. Page of Swords, clarify your Page of Swords. Somebody's definitely checking up on you. Um, the, the inspection card, the page of swords. Someone's watching you, is stalking you, and is checking up on you. Someone's checking out the competition. Your person could be checking up on you if you're not in in um, union with your person. You know, if you guys are in separation, 
I'm thinking some rivalry. Somebody, somewhere, some competition is checking you out. So I'm going to get shuffling here and get a few more cards for you to bring your reading to a closing here. Scorpio, thank you all so much for being so patient and for sticking with me for this long. All of my subscribers, you guys are great and awesome. And I could not do this without you. Thank you so much. The moon, oh my goodness. <laughs> the moon clarifying the moon. Things are not as they seem. Things are going to be revealed to you that are being hidden right now. Your intuition guides you to the right decision. It's what it's telling you. King of swords. When you find your information out, when you find out what's going on, trust your ability to make strategic decisions. Embody that king of swords type of energy. The king of swords could be your person in air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And um, your king of swords is emotionally detached. It's someone who probably works in the legal field, legal profession, or law enforcement um, is emotionally detached, but does not let... Um, his emotions cloud his judgment or his decision making. Like it says, trust your ability to make a strategic decision. You're going to need to embody that kink of sorts energy and cut something out of this picture of your situation that does not serve you, Scorpio. With the moon clarifying the moon, things are definitely going to be brought your way. Things are not as they seem. Your intuition is popping. Two moon with the queen of cups. You know what's going on in your situation. You just have that gut feeling like you know what's going on. You just know your person is up to no good. And spirit is telling you yes, yes, and yes. That's exactly what's going on, what you feel. And you have two of cups. So the two of cups is like um, soulmate energy. So you have a very deep connection with your person. Uh, this is the aquamarine crystal. It says, I am worthy of the deepest kind of love. So what you seek and search for that queen of um cups type of energy for that two of cups like you feel like you're worthy for it and you're ready you're tired of the shits so you're tired of the bullshit um i don't see anything here about anyone coming your way any particular person um i just see that your situation requires for your um to be ready to receive your information that's being concealed from you when it comes your way with the two moon cards a lot of hidden energy, a lot of secrets, and a lot of things that are going on that will be brought to your um, attention really soon here in the near future for some of you. For some of you, that's already happened. It's already taken place. Three of Swords energy. Then, you know, your Page of Swords twice. Page of Swords twice. Very, very strong stalking, stalking energy inspection. Someone checking up on you, and it could be your person, but I am just guessing that it's the karmic so you have another guy or another female somewhere that's in competition with you. It's like your rival that wants to check you out. That's checking up on you that wants to check you out. Because some people are just weird like that, you know? They just like to do that type of shit. <laughs> you must be popping though, Scorpio. You must got it going on. You got them watching you hard. You got them on you hard. They're on you tough. And with the moon energy, do not feel bad. Don't feel tore up. You're strong with that King of Swords energy, Queen of Cups. You're just full of love. And if you continue to stay in your element, you're in your own element in your reading. Queen of Cups, water energy. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. You're in your own element. Continue to stay that loving, beautiful, wonderful, amazing person that you are. Let your situation come to a head. Allow this moon energy to come in and reveal things to you so that you can see things for what they really are. And move on. That's what you desire, Scorpio. Yeah, so I'm going to get some um, Romance Angels cards here for your Oracle to close the reading out. And I did pull a couple more clarifiers. I think one more than I'm used to because why not, right? So it doesn't matter. So Spirit, I would like to get a couple of Romance Angels Oracle cards for the beautiful, awesome water sign of Scorpio. <laughs> almost forgot. <laughs> Scorpio. All right. Hey guys, one more reading today and I'm done with July and I will be starting on August. Yeah, so your oracles say, make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. And you say you're worthy of the deepest kind of love, like make the effort. Look at those little kids. They're like young. They're loving from their heart chakra. And, and they're all love. They're all about being loved and abundant. Not caring about people, places, things, paradigms. Just wanting to be youthful and young and love. And that's kind of your energy, your element here. That water. You want that water relationship. That relationship that just 
flows, you know, like water. And um, you're capable of having that in your own element because that's your element, water, Scorpio. Forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. So, like, you feel that you are worthy of the deepest kind of love because you are love. You're the queen of cups. You are love. Your own element. Water, right? Emotions. Healing. So, um, I'm hoping someone got what they needed out of this reading. If you will need a personal private reading, my information is down below in the description box of how to contact me there. Thank you so much. Everyone enjoy. Namaste.